Hey you guys, it's Miriam and welcome back to my channel and we're here for another video. And if you can't tell by the title of this video, you guys, I have a really big announcement and I've been sharing on my Instagram stories. Um, so if you guys are not following me there, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will link it on the side of this um, video. Um, also, I have been sharing in my stories on YouTube, like, hey, huge announcement coming, um, video coming. So we're here and you guys, I'm pregnant. Me and my husband are expecting um, our second child. We're so, so excited. And I was like, I need to share with my community for a few reasons. Um, I have been MIA, you guys. Like, it is no secret. I was very consistent, was posting once, uh, once to twice every week, and then it just stopped. And it was because your girl was pregnant and dealing with the, you know, the hormones and the morning sickness and all of that. Um, I have some videos that I am going to be uploading hopefully next week. Um, just sharing like my first trimester and the first few weeks and all of that jazz. So it was hard. Like I'm still kind of um, going through some things, but I feel a lot better. So um, I'm just excited to get right back into creating content and um, creating videos. So yes, I am pregnant. I'm so excited. Um, my husband is super excited. Um, so how I found out, whew, so I found out the end of August, again, period was supposed to come never came and i was like okay there could be a possibility um because again it i would say it was planned in a way um because we were talking about it back in july and i was like okay i want to get on prenatal vitamins and that kind of thing and then you know let's really try you know in august and see and bam happened so um yes i end up uh finding out the end of august i took two pregnancy tests ladies um i think it was the first response i gotta get the little um what is that, the, the pregnancy test. I ended up taking two, like three days apart. So I took the first one, it came back positive. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in the bathroom like, oh, this is so great. I didn't tell my husband or anything. Um, and then I waited a few days because it was before my period. And um, I was just not sure. I'm like, ah, this could be false. It could be, you know, damaged or whatever, the pregnancy test. And I ended up taking one a few days later and it was positive right away. So I was like, all right, this is real. Um, so super excited. I did not share with my husband because I, after I found out and just knew, again, due to some of the symptoms, I um, was like, I need to tell him, but how can I tell him in a really like fun way? Because I wanted it to be special. I, your girl was scared. Okay, I was scared, kind of. Um, Cause I'm like, I don't know how he, he's gonna respond even though I knew he was super excited. I'm like, how is he gonna respond? Um, I don't know, just that whole thing. So I ended up just telling him, like I was doing some um, at home workouts in the front room and I was like, can we talk? And he was like, yeah, I'm like, let me finish the workout. You know, we can talk afterwards. He's like, no, 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 let's talk now. What's going on? I was like, oh dang, that probably wasn't the best way. Cause he's thinking like, what's going on? What you guys tell me, you know? And so um, long story short, I ended up just kind of like showing him the pregnancy test and was like, hey, you know, um, we're pregnant. And he was like, what? He had this big smile on his face and just hugged me. And he was like, all right, we're pregnant. We're having a baby and just really excited. Really, really nice and like a special moment for us. Um, what else? So I ended up telling him, we said, we're not going to share anything with the family or with our daughter, Malia, who is 11 years old. That's a whole nother thing I'll be sharing, <laughs> the, the gap difference <laughs> in this pregnancy compared to the last pregnancy. Um, but we decided to wait to tell everyone because I just wanted confirmation from the doctors. And if you have ever been pregnant before, you know that like the two week wait is really long, which I didn't end up waiting really, I guess it was longer, well, about two weeks. But it's like the wait from when you find out to when you go to the doctors, it could be, depending on if you find out at four or five weeks, it could be a few weeks after that. Um, and now with COVID and all of these restrictions, I wasn't able to get in right away. So I end up um, having to wait until I was nine weeks. Y'all, I was just like, when is it gonna be September this? Like when my first appointment was. And I was just so excited thinking I was gonna have an ultrasound just to confirm all of that. No, you guys, not the best experience, which I'll maybe share that in a different video. I was so crushed, I left crying. I just didn't feel really cared for. Um, I had went through my primary care doctor and there's, it's a hospital and so I went through their OBGYN kind of um, uh, clinic, if you will, inside the hospital. Um, and so just thinking it would be kind of like where I went to see my normal doctor, just warm and welcoming. 
they were late. We waited 45, 50 minutes. He wasn't able to come in. All I took was a pregnancy, a urine test, excuse me, and no blood work, no nothing, no ultrasound. So there was no real confirmation. The urine test came back uh, uh, pregnant, but that was it, it was positive. Um, I left just like feeling really, I don't know, disappointed and also like, I'm not gonna go to this doctor no more. I'm not gonna go to this hospital. Like I have to look into my insurance. So long story short, I ended up changing it and now I'm at a really nice hospital where we live and night and day, you guys. Oh my goodness, I called them that same day. I was able to change things on my insurance um, like almost a month and a half ago. So I'm going somewhere new now, total different experience. They got me in at nine and a half weeks. I was able to do an ultrasound right away, see the baby, you guys, what? I, have, I haven't seen the ultrasound in over 12 years, like obviously me. And just, uh, which my husband was not able to do, be in the room either, but it's fine. It's, you know, the COVID rules, I guess, right now. Um, and so we had to FaceTime. He was able to kind of see, but it was kind of fuzzy. You couldn't really see. Um, but the baby, you know, had legs and arms and it was just so cool to see. I was, it was just really refreshing and, and um, uh, reassuring that, you know, there is this baby in here growing um, healthy. Everything looked well. Um, I had an exam, everything went well. So now I go every four weeks to the doctor. Um, and so it's been just a wonderful experience and switching over. Um, it has been kind of rough, which again, I'll share more of that into another video. I am gonna be starting a pregnancy series, which I'm super excited about, because I already do some motherhood things on um, my channel, because I already do some motherhood content and videos on my channel, but now it's gonna be full force pregnancy videos, also some vlogs, because I do enjoy sharing that part, and some hair stuff. Y'all can see I'm just rocking this curly ponytail. The last few months, it's been hard to do anything else. <laughs> besides a wash and go that lasts like two weeks. But so we decided to wait to tell our daughter. And so I was nine and a half weeks, uh, so I was nine and a half weeks when I went to the doctor. And so I have appointments every four weeks. And with that, I, um, again, there's no ultrasound. They just do like the baby, the Doppler, just so they can hear the heartbeat and that kind of thing. So I've been to one of those appointments. I have one coming up next week. Um, so every time it's like my appointment time, I'm excited because I can see the heartbeat and just see how much weight I'm gaining. <laughs> that kind of thing but um it's been just a great experience i am just so overjoyed um this is something we've wanted for a long time i've been married almost six years now and you guys i I'm just my heart is so warm and full because again this is something i've always wanted i've always wanted to be a mom since i was younger obviously i have my daughter she's almost 12 now and so i'm having the second one but you know god is just so faithful he's so good and um, me and my husband are just excited for this journey. My daughter's super excited. We end up telling her about a week and a half after we went to the doctors and just got everything confirmed um, the second time and the second appointment. Um, so I am going to share right now a clip of us telling her. <laughs> you guys are gonna get a kick out of this, um, but I'm gonna put that in right now. Can you sit down? You know how I want to do But I wanted to give you something to explain what's been going on with you. She was super excited. She was shocked. Um, even though I felt like she knew something was up just because of how I was um, kind of acting. I was very emotional. Um, I had different food aversions. My sense of smell was heightened to like the 10th degree. You guys like, I don't know if y'all women out there, mamas um, had that experience, but mine's, I could smell a fart before it came out. Okay. <laughs> 
to your mind but i'm just being honest it was really bad and she always thought i had covid like she like you guys saw in the video <laughs> so i would like to tell her i did not have covid obviously but um it i didn't i thought she knew honestly because she did ask maybe at like right shortly after i end up finding out which i'm like how did she know i kept saying no i was like mommy's feeling fine she's like are you sure you're not having a baby there's no baby in your stomach i was like no in due time mommy you know have a baby and so um i've been keeping the secret from her for over a month and it was kind of hard but as you can see she was super excited and she's just overjoyed to be a big sister and help out um which again as much as i'm like man the gap is so big i think there is some really good in that she can be a helper and as my husband's saying he's like she'll be our built-in babysitter so i'm like okay that'll work um so it, we're just excited we're really excited and again i just want to get in here and share with you guys again one why i've been mia because your girl is expecting i am with child we're super excited to share this journey with you guys this new content and videos that i'm going to be sharing with you guys um if you're not a part of my family my internet home make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be alerted every time your girl has a new upload i appreciate all of you guys again for entering my 1k um, giveaway that I had last month. Um, those winners were super excited to receive their goodies. So I'm hoping I can have some more giveaways as I continue to grow and just feeling, you know, in the um, giving spirit, if you will. So again, I just appreciate you guys for rocking with me, watching this video and um, watching my videos to come. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure again, you are subscribed to my channel and following your girl on Instagram. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.